So if you've gone on holiday soon and you're planning on taking your Insta360 GO 3 with you, then $59.99 gets you the new dive case. And this is a well worth accessory, 100%. I've just taken it on a holiday abroad to Southern Spain for two weeks and been using this extensively. And I think it's good for two reasons. One, it allows you to use the case all together, the action pod as well in one device in the water. We know that this is the only part that is waterproof standalone. You can't take this in the water usually, it's only weather resistant. So with this dive case, you get the full battery life capacity, which is great, especially if you're going out on a boat trip or we took this on a jet ski and I could not worry about the battery dying on me because with my testing, I've been getting about 140 minutes worth of record time altogether with these two combined standalone the you get about 45 minutes of battery life just with the standalone camera so yeah we put this in there it comes in the box by the way with these little pads that absorb any moisture and stop it fogging up as well so you get a bunch of these in the box when you buy this they sort of slide just in this little part there above the uh, camera there so it just absorbs any moisture that one's been in there since I started using the camera actually but there's like I said a bunch in the box the camera just pops in there like that you put the lid on and then you snap snap it shut. You've got this little switch on the top that you can slide across to actually open it and then you've got the shutter button on the top and then you've got the power button and the mode button so you can switch through the different modes on the side as well. The actual lens on the top of this is made of glass so you don't get any degrading of the image quality. I noticed no difference in the image quality at all and surprisingly the audio still sounded really good. I don't know how they've done that. This is sort of a thick plastic and it can go down to depths of 60 meters or 197 feet with this camera so that's pretty much the limit of scuba diving depths as well so yeah i was really surprised with the audio it does sound pretty good it didn't sort of affect the audio that much really <laughs> So yeah, this is a, a great device. I've got it on Insta360's new floaty stick. This is available as well. This is a new product. And then I just put the lanyard around my wrist so we're on the jet ski, it didn't fall off. And um, this will float if it does drop in the water and you've got that orange bit on the top, which it will float like that so you can see it if it does drop in the water. So, um, but I just had the lanyard on there just for extra safety. Great device. So uh, on our trip on the jet ski, it allowed us to use a full battery life and um, I didn't run out of battery anyway. And it keeps it cool in the water if you're doing scuba diving or snorkeling stuff like that and then yeah it's, it's just a really great accessory and a must-have essential accessory if you're going away on holiday soon on a beach holiday or using it for water sports so that's a nice and easy video really um, there's not much more that I can say about this apart from the great build quality it's very nicely built it fits in there very well and the fact that you can put the whole camera in this case and use a full battery life is brilliant and a well worth accessory so that's it if you want to grab one there will be a link in the description down below fully recommend this accessory if you've got one of these cameras if you're new to the channel please do make sure you subscribe press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads it's free to subscribe by the way some people think you have to pay to subscribe and you're locked down to some kind of contract you're not it's just you subscribe and then you get notified when i upload a new video because we've got the dji Action 4 and I'm going to be comparing it not only to the Action 3 but to the GoPro 11 quickly because next month we'll have the GoPro 12 as well to compare it to and there's rumours that we've got a 1 inch GoPro coming which is exciting so yeah make sure you do stay tuned because we're going to be covering all of these personal pocketable cameras comparing them all in future videos to see which one I recommend to you after the GoPro comes out so stay tuned for that video coming soon. Okay well, that's it for this one check out the dive case link in the description well worth accessory. See you on the next one guys. Bye.